Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, at least further than the usual, we come across a dragon who has cancer. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> nope, nope, you're, you're not dead. Oh, I I'm not? Oh. You're just dying slowly, painfully. Oh. Thankfully, though, dragons actually have a cure for cancer. Or at least they do for their kind. Because they are far more advanced than us, even though they live in the Dark Ages. But hey, who's to judge them? It's not like we don't have the technology or the witchcraft to do it ourselves. Which we don't. I'm clarifying that. But anyways, there are three ways for a dragon to cure its cancer. The first one on the list of options is to drink the blood of a unicorn. Which will not work so well for the main character, as he apparently is a brony. That's right, one of those weirdos that make you feel uncomfortable on the street while wearing a pony suit. And saying friendship is magic and they make you want to run to your safe zones and good lord send them away! Be gone fiends! But we're gonna move away from that subject and go to the next one. Which is equally uncomfortable. Parents! Another way to do it is to ask for money from his parents. Which would actually be a hard thing to do because they are dragons. Dragons are greedy. And dragons breathe fire. Sure, he's fireproof, but the thing is he's a wimpy fireproof dragon. In other words, he can get singed. Permanently. It'd be like that moment in Grand Theft Auto where you're immune to fire for just a few moments, only to die suddenly. Oh well, that's children for you. Oh, speaking of children, even though this part has nothing to do with it, the third option is getting drugs. PG-13, everyone. So the dragon goes to the back alley where it looks absolutely shady, mostly because the buildings are freaking huge. So, obviously, it casts a pretty large shadow, making you wonder, Oh, why do these hobos look ominously creepy? Oh, that's right. They're vampires. That explains everything! Anyways, as he proceeds down the alleyway, seeing all the shifty characters that look like they want to mug a little child, he finally comes across the dealer, a trash panda, who obviously was in the trash near the panda. A creepy claw reaches out of the trash can and offers the drugs. The kid gets ready to take the deal only for the trash panda to stop him. Why are you taking my opportunity away to live? The kid says. I'm trying to save your career, says the little raccoon beast thingy, which, uh, which is also a translation of trash panda. I'm here. I don't even have a career! I'm like 12 years old! And besides that, why do you care? What's the worst that can happen when I take these? The boy asks. Because you're gonna end up like me! He says as he finally reveals his face to me. Oh great lord above and beyond! I'm out of here! That is me saying that, not the kid. And the boy died of cancer after all, because it wasn't worth it. No, I'm just kidding, he decided to crawl to his parents and beg for money. He did get singed, but he got the money. So therefore, kids, the lesson in this story is... Well, ask your parents for money, instead of doing drugs. You can technically do both at the same time, but it would not work out the same way as you may think. And that is the story of the dragon who had cancer and is now cured because we're family friendly. Thank you for watching or technically listening to this video as there was nothing really to see but a couple of pictures that are rather crummy. If you like what you see or heard, Please do press the buttons down below. I don't know which ones you need to press, just as long as it's not the one that bans me or whatever. 
And if you have any compliments or insults for us, just leave them in the comments down below. I praise them. And by the way, no, there is no real us. I'm just talking to myself because really, I am actually the one making all the sounds here. Literally. So I don't know why I say we, it's like a uh, Smeagol when he's talking to his ring. Rather creepy. But hey, it gets all the views for him, right? Why not me? If you'd like to try and make an animation out of this, make sure you keep this in mind that I will hunt you down and make your life absolutely miserable. No, not really. I don't care, really. Just make sure people know that I was involved in it. And I'll be happy. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Be free, be creative, and blah, 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 whatever this guy said usually. And, uh, goodbye. What? Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm doing my job just fine. You're not my father, okay? Go away. Shoo, shoo. You're banned from your own channel. That's right. You're banned from your own channel. What did you say about my mother?